Okay, I'm going to give it just a minute because for some reason it cuts off the beginning. So let's see. Okay, hey, hey, welcome to Learning with Lynn. It is Sunday night and I am Lynn Huber. And I'm Richard. And this is Richard. I want to thank you for being here today. If you're here, say hi. If you're watching the replay, be sure to type replay so we know you were here. Um, today we're going to talk about the most successful Avon reps have this one trait in common. So I'm going to do some things. I'm going to move some things around here. Oh, I should have done this already. I didn't. Should have had this ready. I don't know. Whoops. There we go. There we go. Hey, Anitra. Good to see you. So you should be able to see my screen now, my computer screen. <clears throat> And um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to the search on the right-hand side. And just because I know how to find it, I'm going to type one trait. And there it is. There's the blog post um, that I have about the most successful Avon reps have this one trait in common. Anitra, do you happen to know what this trait might be? <laughs> Not to put you on the spot, but you're the only one that's saying hi right now. I'm sure more will be coming in. But you know what? Everything starts with a thought. I mean, thoughts repeated over time become beliefs. They become habits, right? And we operate our life from our beliefs. It's all about our belief. That's what runs the show. Hey, it's good to be seen. Yeah. Aaron. Hi, Aaron. Good to see you. So bottom line is our belief, our belief in ourselves, our belief in what we're doing is probably the most important thing to, um, to, to determine whether you're going to be successful or not. I mean, and, that, and it's, it's a critical first step because if you, um, if you don't believe in yourself or if you don't believe in what you're doing, you're going to give up too easy. But if you believe that you can do this, then, um, hi, Prima, good to see you. If you believe that you can do this, then you will, you will find a way to make it happen, right? When you look at all of the most successful people in the world, such as Steve Jobs or Oprah Winfrey or J.K. Rowling or, I mean, there's so many, Martin Luther King, you know, Michael Jordan. These guys, they had one trait in common. They had that unwavering belief in the possibility of their success. And, you know, it might be kind of an obvious notion, but, you know, if you – you have to be able to consistently uphold that belief that you can and you will succeed. So um, the, many of the most successful people in Avon and outside of Avon have come from nothing. I mean, you look at even Lisa Wilbur. She's the number four, I believe, money earner in the company right now. She she lived in a one a single wide trailer. She came from struggles, right? Oprah Winfrey was dirt poor and she was abused as a child, but that didn't stop them from believing that they could be successful. And I, I want to just like really simply, a belief is so simple. I mean, if I put this pen on my desk, do I believe I can pick it up? Of course I do. I believe that I can just pick it up, right? That's the kind of belief that you have to have in yourself and in your business. Because you know what? I know you, I know that you're capable. I already know that. If you want something bad enough, you'll find a way to do it, right? And you have the belief in yourself that you'll be able to find a way to do it. And that's the that's the belief that you're going to need to find for your business to make to really show that um I mean to really be successful. So the people who struggle the most with success are doing so because they're they're straddling that fence. They have the one one foot on the on the side of the possibility. One foot is on the side of the fence of I'm going to be successful. And the other foot is on the side of I'm not good enough. And, you know, if you're struggling with that, that's going to mm. really hurt you as far as making progress and being successful. you got to let go of the I'm not good enough. You're plenty good enough to pick up this pen. You know, if I set the pen down on the table, you're plenty big, good enough to pick that up. And, and if you want something, like I said, bad enough, you're going to find a way to do it. You're plenty good enough to do that. So let go of the idea that you, you shouldn't be successful because you're not good enough. Because I'm here to tell you you are. I, I know Richard will tell you you are too. 
He's not saying much. But your beliefs are critical to your success. I mean, you can't be successful until you think it's possible for you to succeed. That is so powerful. But you know what? That is the truth. Until you believe that it's possible for you to succeed, you're not going to be successful. And there's four areas of belief that you need to concentrate on that you have to have if you want to be successful. Um, Anitra says, I felt that way. <clears throat> She says, I felt that way. You know what, Anitra, we all have. Every one of us have. But, um, and, and you know, there's going to be times, even if we have a strong belief, there's going to be times that we might feel like we're not good enough or, or that we screwed something up. Or, I mean, you know, a lot of that goes back to our childhood. But try to let yourself let go of that. Try to set, I mean, ask yourself, why do I believe that? What is it that makes me believe that? And kind of question, question it to yourself over and over. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, but why? Okay, but why? Because you might find that it's really not something that is even true, right? So the four areas that you want to establish belief in, that you want to be really clear on is the profession of direct sales. Do you believe in direct sales? I know I do. I know that this business, my Avon business has, um, well, which is the next thing, Avon and the Avon Opportunity, and, and my Avon business has allowed Richard and I to quit our jobs and become debt-free, and we live 100% on Avon. We don't have to go to work anymore. We don't have any house payment. We don't have credit card bills. And right now, with this, with this pandemic thing going on, I'm so thankful that we don't have all those bills, right? <laughs> but on the flip side of that, Avon is our income. So, <laughs> But hey, you know, at least we don't have a house payment due um, in two days. But, but you need to believe in the, in the profession of direct sales. Do you really believe that it's a good profession, that it's noble? It's, it's just as noble, as far as I'm concerned, as being a shoe salesman or selling um, insurance or selling, you know, being a cashier at a grocery store. Sales is sales. There's, I mean, it doesn't matter. It's just that our way of selling is direct from, from us to another person, right? You don't have to go through a store. Right. But and then do you believe in Avon and the Avon opportunity? Do you really believe that Avon is offering an opportunity for us, Avon reps, that we can make money doing this, that we can build a business? And then do you believe in the Avon products? Do you believe in the quality of them? Um, do you believe in the company, you know, and, and the most important thing, do you believe in you? Do, you know, and that's the thing. You know what? I know even even during times when I might feel like I'm not good enough. I know that my customer can depend on me. I know that I won't let them down. I know that because that's something that's really important to me. So whether I'm good enough for that customer to buy a product from me, I at least know that my customer, that, that I'm the best rep they could have because I will give them the best service because that's really important to me that I take care of my customer. And so that's another way you can look at it. But you are the one that has to make that decision that you're going to be successful. You have to believe you're going to be successful and you have to do it, right? It just really boils down to that. You just have to do it. So <clears throat> people buy and do business with those that they know, like, and trust, right? Until you buy your own story, no one's going to buy from you or do business with you. Um, and if you're on the fence with your Avon business, if you're like, well, I'm not sure if I want to give her a book or I'm not sure, you know, if you're like here, would you like an Avon book? And, you know, I'm not sure when my next order is going in. People aren't going to buy from you. They need to know that you are in it. They, they really do. If you're half in, even if you don't say it, if you're half in, they can tell. It's a subconscious thing, but they can tell that you're not 100 percent invested. And if that's the case, you're not going to get orders. You're not going to get those customers. So, you know, people don't follow or do business with someone who's not clear about where they're going or what they're doing. So with me, hell, I have it on my car. I have my whole car wrapped. You know, my customers know I'm in it. I'm in it. But even if I didn't have my car wrapped, it doesn't matter. Because everywhere we go, we have books. We give them out. We're not afraid to say, hey, you want an Avon book? Hey, I'm an Avon rep. It's not like, oh, I'm thinking about doing Avon. Right? Can you see the difference? Because I've seen reps do that. I've actually seen reps doing, I'm kind of doing Avon. Would you like a book? That's not going to convince your customer to buy. It's really not. They're going to sense that you are not in it. You're just not in it. And if you're not in it, they don't know if they can depend on you to deliver their order. And how many times have, have I hear it all the time. I hear it all the time. I hear customers say, well, I had a rep. I used to have a rep, but then she disappeared. Or I gave my rep an order and I never saw it. 
And I mean, those kinds of things. And some some Avon reps have gone ahead of us and they've made it bad for us by not being dependable. But I'm dependable and I, I know I'm dependable and it's important to me. And so that comes across when I'm talking to my customer. They can tell it. And they and they've had that bad experience before, so they don't want it again. So if you're like, well, I'm kind of doing Avon on the side, you know, when I have time, they're not. <laughs> that's not going to help them buy into you, right? So here's some ways to build your belief. Some actually help you build your belief. Number one, immerse yourself in your success because your belief is going to grow as you do. So the more that you surround yourself with positive, successful people who are supportive and encouraging, the more likely you're going to grow in your belief. Because the things that you read, the things that you watch and listen to, they make a dramatic difference in the way that you think. So become a student of success. You know, avoid negative and unsupportive people and attach yourself to those who will support you and lift you up. Um, we're all in this together, and and we, I hope we all will lift each other up. Um, in my Facebook group, in our online beauty biz group, that's I kind of expect that. If it gets too negative, it will be shut down. I mean, not the group, but conversation will be shut down. But, you know, Lisa Wilbur said this the other day. Um, I was on a webinar she did, and and she was talking about this <clears throat> coronavirus and, and the warehouse being closed. And the warehouse is not closed now. So don't, don't um, you know, the warehouse is open. Avon is shipping. We are in business. But, um, but she says, you know, some people in the groups are talking about how do you feel about the warehouse being closed? You know what? It doesn't <laughs> matter how you feel. That's not even a topic that you should be talking about. That's kind of gossip in a way, right? That's not yeah. success talk. It doesn't matter how you feel. What matters is what are you going to do about it? What matters is how are you going to keep your business going, even though we're struggling right now? But we're not. Avon is open. They're shipping. I want you to know that. They're open and they're shipping. And I am actually getting a lot of online orders right now mm -hmm. because we promote it. We promote it online. We, we engage with our customers and we're getting a lot of online orders. So I want you to know we are in business and it is business as usual. We might not be doing as many delivery orders, although we still are. And that... Every person's circumstance might be different on that as far as delivery orders, but um, because whether you can go out or whether it's safe for you to go out or whether your community will let you go out, I mean, all these things. But, um, you know, we don't do events right now. We've, there's a lot of things we're not able to do in our business, but we are, Richard is delivering orders and he's mostly just knocking on the door and leaving it there so they can, so and then leave so they can pick it up and we don't have to make contact, <clears throat> right? Don't have to actually yeah, really. Right prepay or they leave a check under the mat yeah. I leave it and I knock on the door and then I stand back and they answer the door and I wave from about 20 feet away and say hey see you <laughs> in two weeks <laughs> so business is going so but immerse yourself in success you know because the more that you're around success the more you watch what successful people are doing the more success you have the more belief you will have in your success and every little thing every little thing that, that you do that turns out right Praise yourself for it. Recognize it. Build on it. Um, Anitra says, I'm looking forward to placing my next order. I will actually order books for the first time in a long time. I have two ladies in my neighborhood who want a book. That's awesome. That's awesome. But I'm surprised you haven't been ordering books. <laughs> you got to order them two but campaigns I'm, ahead, too. But I'm glad that you're ordering them now. Yeah. Yeah, and Richard's right. You need to order brochures two campaigns ahead. So with your campaign nine order, well, if you're still in, if you're still placing a campaign eight order, you would order books for campaign ten, right? And um, when you place your campaign nine order, you'll order books for eleven. If you still need campaign nine orders, hurry up and get an order in and order them. But I can't guarantee you'll get them because Avon has been running out of books, mostly I think because of the free signups. But hey. Number two, actively build your knowledge and put it to use. So you've heard the phrase, knowledge is power, but the truth is it's not so much the knowledge, it's the application of the knowledge that makes it the difference. So you have to learn and then you have to put it in the, into, you know, in, into action. You, you learn something and you immediately put it into action. That's what solidifies it in your brain. That's, what, that's where you get the knowledge and that's where the power comes in. So what you do doesn't do any, it's not going to do any good what you know unless you're applying it to your business and your life. <clears throat> and Anitra said, 
My dad stood about <laughs> that far away when he picked up my grandma's order. Yep. <laughs> Everybody's staying far away, six, ten feet, whatever. Collect stories. You know, results help you grow your belief. When you see someone get results from your product or in their business, it builds on your belief. Um, this is what's really great in the um, <clears throat> in the Facebook groups too, because if you have a success story with your customer, if you um, your customer was struggling with something, acne or whatever. And um, and you gave them a product and it helped them share it in the group because that helps all the other reps too when they they see that oh this other customer had really great success with this product so then they start to believe okay I can show this to this customer and it will help them too right but as you create um, results whether it's with your product or with your business your beliefs will take dramatic leaps for leaps forward <clears throat> because the more that you see the more that you have happen and you see you see the success whatever it is and success comes in many different forms doesn't mean necessarily that you have big paychecks coming in it could mean that you got a new recruit or it could mean you got it picked up a new customer this campaign or it could mean that you gave a, a product to a customer that they really loved and that it really helped them <clears throat> so all of those things are success right and so if you want to know if it really works then work until you receive until you see the result and then you will know that it works that's kind of along those lines of it doesn't do any good to think about how do you feel about it, right? Instead, <laughs> work and make it happen, and then mm -hmm. you've proven to yourself that it will work, and now you're going to believe it, right? That's pretty powerful. Uh -huh. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. Take action daily. How many of you guys are still working your business? I mean, I hope you're not on vacation because of coronavirus. <laughs> I hope that you're not, you know, not doing anything because now's the time we should be working our business full on because, um, because um, what you do now is going to make all the difference when everything is back open again. So if you stay in action now, you will continue, your, your sales might be less, but, and they might not be, I mean, I don't know. You know, it's probably different for everybody, but your sales might be less because like there is less things you can do. We do events. We do these events all the time and I can't do those now. So um, I won't be picking up as many new customers, but I'm taking care of my customers. I'm taking action, even though we're closed down, even though, you know, the, the community is shut down. That doesn't mean that I can't still connect with my customers. I can't. Um, some of the things that. Um, I made some notes like right now is a great time to get to know um, your customers, get a little more personal with them, show them you care, show them you're still here. Even if they're not ordering, it doesn't matter. Even if, and if they do order, then you, you take good care of them, right? And so take that action because you're not going to get good at something if, if you don't do it. So take that action now. If you, um, you don't need to know everything to get started, but you can learn as you go. That's the cool thing about our business. And as you, take that action and you learn because you aren't going to learn anything until you do it. You have to do it. And then you, that'll help solidify. Even if you learned it in Avon, you, or you learned it from me or you learned it from wherever, it's still not going to be solidified in your brain until you do it. And once you do it, then your beliefs are going to grow because of those actions. And there's so many things right now you can do. You can post to social media. You can, you can um, create Facebook lives. That's something right now. That's a good thing to learn how to do. Do these Facebook Lives, even if you do really short ones, two minutes or three minutes or four minutes. Four minutes is actually the ideal amount of time. Um, when I first started doing first book, Facebook Lives, I was terrified. And then I told myself, you know, if I was going, Anitra, if I was going and having coffee with you at a restaurant and we were talking, it's not like at the end of that coffee date, I'm going to go back and go, oh, I didn't like that. Let me erase it. I didn't like it right? I said the wrong thing because it was real. It was live and it was done and gone. And it's the same thing with the video. When you're talking to somebody on a video, you're talking to them and you just need to think of it as I'm having a conversation. And if you say something wrong or if you, if you um, do something wrong on the video, it doesn't matter. People don't even notice because it's just part of you connecting with them so get get in the habit of start start finding new things you can do to connect with your customers even though things are shut down right now mclears. um and that ties in with what she said so yeah and nature said she had not ordered any books because the few customers i have started i have started looking through the digital oh the few customers i have have started yeah. looking through the digital book mm -hmm. and that's great 
that's totally great if they're using the digital book, as long as you do the follow up with them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, number five, practice. This is probably the most important step in your business. Like like I said, if you don't put it into action, it doesn't. It's not powerful. It's not. It's not solidified. You don't haven't really learned it until you put it into action. So if you want to get good at selling Avon and feel confident doing it, then you need to spend regular time doing it. You need to get. You can't get good unless you do that. You just can't. And so take time to practice how you're going to approach someone or how you're going to invite someone to look at your brochure or sell as Sally Nabon and how you talk to them. Because the more you, the more that you, um, the more that you say to someone, would you like an Avon brochure? The better you're going to get at it. And I know that that's really simple. Those are like, what, five words? Would you like an Avon brochure? Six mm -hmm. words. But it's all about, do you go, would you like an Avon brochure? Or do you go, would you like an Avon brochure? And you're confident and you're giving it to them because you're going to assume that they're going to take it. And so you just like, if, if they're going to be awkward, not taking it by the time you put it in their hand. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The cool thing about practice is that it helps you get better automatically. If you do something and you do it wrong, and you're embarrassed or, or just totally goes wrong, you're going to learn a better way to do it. And you're not going to do that one. You're not going to do it wrong again. It's that simple. At least so, that one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and you just keep building. You have little successes and you keep growing your business on little successes. See, it's pretty simple, really. <clears throat> So, and then number six, regularly attend events. So the more plugged in you are, the better off you're going to be. So there isn't any live events right now. Major sucks. We don't even mm -hmm. have Rep Fest. But we do have online events. We have our we have our Facebook Lives. If you're on my team, we have Zoom calls. Um, you know, all of the top leaders have Facebook Lives. Molly mm -hmm. Bibb does. Um, Lisa Wilbur does. Teresa Paul does. There's all kinds. Of, you got you got Avon Social. You got Scott Kramer doing trainings. Avon is doing trainings. There's all kinds of virtual trainings. So if you can't go to a live event, you can do all those virtual trainings. And when we're able to get back to doing live events, those are even more important for you to be at because you got to be able to meet rather representatives and, and get to know them and be able to sit down and have coffee with them and talk to each other. And, you know, sometimes it's just um, – what the thing, the funny thing about like convention, like Rep Fest, is that sometimes I get more out of the hallway talking to a rep that I meet in the hallway than I did out of the out of the Rep Fest itself. And don't get me wrong, there's lots of amazing information in Rep Fest. I mean, that's all amazing, but there's just this little bit of a if I run into you in the hallway and we're talking, and something you say might trigger something for me. That's like, wow, I could do that. And it's just amazing how much we learn from each other. So that's why it's really important for you to be at events. The more events you attend, whether in person or online, the more likely you are going to grow your business and you're going to grow your beliefs. So um, <clears throat> I have a bunch of notes here. So the thing is with the belief, you know, the, the people that, um, like I told you, the successful people like Oprah and, and, you know, Tony Robbins and all those guys, the only reason that they're so successful is because they believe in themselves despite the amount of failures that they have. They have had lots of failures. And I can guarantee you that anybody who's more successful than you has had more failures than you. That's how it works, right? Mm -hmm. Anybody who's – it's kind of like – like when we're building our team and we're and we're recruiting and we're building our team and we're growing our team and um, I might make more money than you. There's some people on this call that might be making more than me. So I'm not trying to say I'm better than you or anything else. But some of you, let's just I know that you're not real high up in leadership and you're looking at me going, why is she so successful? But the truth of the matter is I'm making more money than you because I have more reps who are doing nothing on my team than you. Because that's how it works. It's a whole conglomerate. It's you keep recruiting, you keep bringing in people, and then it's the 20 80. 20% of your team does 80% of your business. And I have an awful lot of zeros on my reports of reps who are doing nothing. So it's not about that I'm so successful. It's because I talk to so many people and I bring in so many people. And so it's and it's it's that belief that you have to have that um, you need a vision so big that you don't care how many times you fail, that you're eventually going to get where you want to go. That's the belief you need to have. Because, um, hey, Denise, <coughs> can't wait to get back to D's, okay. Anitra says. I know. Yeah. 
I know. Looks like we're going to have to do a virtual meeting. I don't <laughs> think we're going to make that there in oh, April. Yeah, not D's, um, but... Um, um, <laughs> oh, it's not D's, yes. it's Denny's. Denny, Denny's, yeah. <laughs> I was looking at, oh, yeah, okay, yeah, Denny's, yeah. Yeah, it'd be good to see everybody in person, but it may be another month. We'll see. <clears throat> so, um, you know, right now, I mean, it's it's really, I know you. I know all of you, everybody on this call, I know that you can do it. There's no doubt in my mind. I know that um, if you wanted to pick up something and figure out how to do it, if it was really important to you to figure out how to cook something or to figure out how to fix a fence because your your child was going to be in danger if you didn't get it fixed, you would find a way. I know you would. If it was something important enough to you, you would find a way, whatever it is. And it's the same thing with our business. And so the world right now, more than ever, needs you to stand up and believe in not only in yourself, but in something greater than yourself. You know, use your skills and your talents, whatever you know now, start where you are now and use those skills and talents to make a difference. Because you might think you don't have anything to offer, but every single one of us has different experiences and every single one of us has, we care. And if you're in Avon, if you're selling Avon, I know you care about your customers. So that's what you need to concentrate on is caring about your customers. How can you be, how, what can you do for your customer? How can you help them? Um, and, and if you take up, if you stand up and take ac action, I know that you have the ability to do as much as anybody else. Regardless of whether you think you're not good enough or you are, I think you are. I know you are. You are plenty good enough. So don't let that beat you up. But but more than money, more than power, more than luck, it's the belief. Belief is what's going to make the difference. It's belief is going to determine whether you're going to be successful. It doesn't matter how good you are at talking to anybody. It doesn't matter how good you can read. It doesn't matter how good you can write or, or any of that. What matters is how bad do you want it and how much do you believe that you, you are going to make it happen. You don't even have to believe that you can right off. You need to start off, though, believing that you're not going to stop until you make it happen. And you're going to get stronger and stronger as you go. You're going to get more. You're going to build that belief in yourself because you're going to have little successes and you're going to build on those successes. So um, you can create that positive change. And then everything, like I said, you just keep building on it. And every time you accomplish one little thing, then that adds a little more belief. Then you accomplish something else that adds a little more belief. And I mean, I can, even just me and Richard, even in, we've been 19, 19 years in Avon, we're not even the same people we were when we started. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we had corporate jobs and we had belief. We had some belief because of the corporate jobs. We didn't necessarily have belief in direct selling. And we started off a little slow in the beginning, but we have really grown and come a long ways because we've learned all these things that we have been able to do and all these things that we've been able to build on because we were able to do it. And then we were able to build more on it because we were able to do that and then build on more. So it's not even about getting to the top tomorrow. It's about starting here and then moving a little bit more and then a little bit more and then a little bit more. And eventually you look back and you go, wow, I've come a long ways. That's really all I have. That's all I have. It's all about belief. Do you have anything you want to add? No, not really. That was good. Um, can't wait to get back. Okay. Denise Rojas mm -hmm. says hi. Mm -hmm. So, you guys, bottom line is don't, don't just let your business go. Don't use the coronavirus as an excuse because that would be all it would be is an excuse. Avon is shipping. Avon got permission from Ohio that they are a um, important, what is the word, that they're necessary mm -hmm. products. And we do have we do have personal care products that can help people. We have toothpaste, we have soap, we have shampoo, we have all these personal care products that people still want and people still need. And whether they buy from your website or whether you deliver, you know, work out a deal to deliver, you still can take care of them. And you can sure continue to work your, you know, promote on Facebook, you know, do the 80, 20 rule. You're only doing promoting your business 80% of the, I mean, 20% of the time, 80% of the time, just be real, get out on Facebook and post posts about quotes or post funny things. You know, there's a lot of funny things going on about the coronavirus. And I mean, I know the coronavirus is scary and everything, but some of these memes are pretty funny and they kind of lighten the day. 
right? So just do continue to work it. Um, keep moving forward and just have an approach like it's business as usual. Because if you stop now, if you don't work your business now, when everything opens up, you're going to be that far behind. Everybody else is going to be well ahead of you, and you're going to be way behind. And, and you know why? Because you use it as an excuse not to work your business. So don't do that. There's plenty There's plenty you can still do. You might not be able to do everything. but there, And there's also a lot of things you can do that maybe you don't even have time to do normally that maybe you can catch up now. Yeah, you need. You always need to come up with workarounds because if you're not putting any people into your funnel for either as customers or as, as possible recruits, yeah, you, you, your funnel is going to be dry and you're not going to have anything coming out of it. And that's why we've talked before about using campaign mailer or or you know sending out text messages or voice messages or whatever it is that you can remotely you know contact people. And, and keep their interest up and let them know you're still in business and, and I'm, you're here to, to help them and, and how, can, how can you help them? You know, suggesting things or, you know, make, make up excuses. Go through the book. If you know certain customers haven't ordered for a while and you know certain things that they like to order, send them a message, call them or, or send them a text message. Saying, hey, I just saw that your favorite product is on sale on this next brochure. Stuff like that. Just anything to have an excuse to contact your customer and keep them going, keep them know that, letting them know that you're in business. You know, just to follow mm -hmm. up on that, what Richard just said, um, my campaign nine order is going to go in on Wednesday. Um, I always place my order on the first day of the campaign. Nothing has changed. I'm business mm -hmm. as usual, so nothing has changed. On Monday, I do my follow-ups, my texts and my um, <clears throat> my voice um, phone messages. They go out on Monday, and they're all automated. You guys have heard me talk about automation. This campaign we are offering for any customer that places a $25 order, we're going to give them a moisture therapy intensive hand cream. So they're on sale for $250 right now. So, I mean, you can buy it for, well, I mean, it depends on what your discount is, but what's 25% on $250? <clears throat> even if you're at, um, yeah, even yeah, if you're just at 25%, you're looking at about $3. No, that's not mm -hmm. right. Two point five times point seven five. Sorry, you're looking at a dollar eighty is your cost, even if that's at just at twenty five percent. You're looking at a dollar eighty. If you get a twenty five dollar order, you can do that, and that will encourage your customers to buy more. That's my thought. And I'm giving back. I'm giving them because we're all washing our hands so much that they could really use the intensive hand cream, right? Um, I am not saying. And, and this is something else. Um, I, I heard this on Scott Kramer's. I was watching his video today. But be careful about using the coronavirus. Don't say, oh, because everybody is. And that, to me, is a little bit a little bit sleazy. Mm -hmm. You know, it's okay to say we have hand soap. But you don't want to keep hammering, oh, coronavirus, you got to wash your hands. Get your hand soap from me. Do you know what I'm saying? It's business as usual. So I'm not telling them they have to have hand lotion because they're washing their hands. I'm just saying, hey, special, this campaign, I want to give back. So for every $25 order, I'm giving you a free hand lotion. And it's in my text and it's in my voice shots that are going out on Monday. They're already scheduled. So it's just a thought. Just look for um, ways that you can um, – that you can give back to your customers too. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think that's it. We've been about 30, just over 30 minutes. It's really where I'd like it to be anyway. Thanks for being here, you guys. And we will see you next Sunday. Stay safe. And um, let's just keep going, okay? Keep going. Don't give up. Work on your belief. You got this. I know you do. Stay safe and have a great week, everyone. Okay. Bye-bye.